Hi guys, um, today we're going to look at restringing Gibson style tuners. So that's the ones where you have three on one side of the headstock and three on the other side. So, so also similar to what you'd get on most acoustics. Um, I guess there's various other brands that have very similar kind of thing, but, but Gibson are, are most famous for it. So let's have a look. Starting the, off. The other point is with the three and three in the Gibson style is that there's a break angle already. The headstock has an angle, okay? Absolutely. Which so that's why you don't have string trees on here. Perfect. Pulling the string behind, okay? I see. Yep, now, brilliant. as I'm also unwinding these, Chris, you can see what I'm going to do is leave the tuners, the tuner holes, all facing the same direction. Okay. So the string can just go straight through. Sure. Okay? So when they're all at different, different uh, angles, it becomes a little bit more problematic, right? It sure. becomes harder for you to, to get them in right. Perfect. Okay, brilliant. So, so I don't know if you guys can see there, but those string trees are all, all the holes are all facing the same way. Just makes it a lot easier. And also on this, this is the time where you have to swap hands for the treble side. Okay. Sure. It's it's a lot easier than trying to turn it with sure. the left hand. Brilliant. Okay, so with them all off, yep. again, we've got a stop tail piece here. So let's have another quick look at this. So this is the same as the, the warmoth that we yep. did. And most around. commonly these will just fall off like that. Perfect. Okay, so um, either try grab it beforehand or, or just hold it like that. And then we're gonna sure. cut all the strings. I guess again, you don't wanna sort of run the risk of scratching the, uh, the lovely paintwork. Sure. Um, and we're gonna remove all of the strings. Yep. Out of there. Perfect. So. We're just going to thread these through the tailpiece, yep. um, away from the guitar again, just so the sharp parts of the string aren't getting attached or going underneath the bridge even sure. on this. Okay, so you're sort of threading it through. I mean, you, obviously you can sort of see which way you need to go by looking at the, sure. looking at the guitar, but it's the tension that sort of holds these in place. So, so that's correct. Yeah, it's not going to work if you do go the wrong way. Perfect. So yeah, it's, I, I do always find these stop tail pieces have, have, have come into their own really when you uh, when you're restringing. It's um, they're very very tuning wise they're very stable as well. But it's it's just yes. so convenient that you can just do this. Absolutely. You also get some uh, guitars. I mean, I know that my one of my guitars has got a sort of one piece where it's like it's like that. Okay. Yeah. But it's also a sort of compensated bridge. It's like a wrap around. Bridge, they're, they're pretty common. All you need to do in that in that instance is just go the opposite way, and, and yep. you don't have to worry about the separate sort of bridge piece there. But it's very very similar technique. Okay, so we're gonna send the string through the tuning post okay. hole like so. Okay, and be be aware of the string hitting the side of this headstock. Okay, sure. it doesn't have to hit it, but um, if you're not aware of it, you might. And cool. pulling the string fairly taut again. Yeah. Thumb and forefinger behind the tuning post. Yeah. And we're going to pull back one and a half. One and a half. Okay. Because okay, so I guess these are slightly further three. apart, aren't they? These. Yes. Yeah, so on a three and three, we're going to pull it back one and a half. Sure. And then I put a little kink in it. Okay. Okay. So that's measured. So quite a similar technique to the uh, the sort of modern style strat, except you just. Don't put, it, don't put it quite, well, you pull it the same distance through, but it's not yeah. as many tuners, essentially. And I've left a little bit, bit of string hanging out, that's yeah. so we can cut it cleanly. Perfect. With the nippers. Now, this is where I'm just pulling back on the string a little bit. Yeah. As the string goes over. Oh, it's attacking me there. I start winding it. I've still got that tension on it. Yeah. And I'm just going to wrap it. And you're getting that tension with the, with the other hand, with the, yeah. with your right. Now you've got that E on. Yeah. The tail piece is fixed now, okay? sure, so, so it's that's, not going to run around. So just the tension of that one is, is enough to sort of hold it And in then place. I'd recommend you cut the string off straight away, okay? Okay. If you leave them all to the end, um, you're going to end up having lots of them flapping around. They, yeah, it does okay. get tricky and then you, I mean, you, you might end up sort of cutting the wrong, the wrong sort of bit and, and end up cutting a, a taut string. So with the A, yep. thumb and forefinger behind the tuning post, pull back one and a half, you have to guess that a little bit, but sure. it's, it's not too crucial. Okay, perfect. Again, with the string just hanging out, mm -hmm. pointing up ideally. Yep. Once and it starts to get a turn on, that's when I start pulling back on the string. Sure, okay. Um, and with then these, you can wind. Um, with these tuners, uh, sorry, with these headstocks, a three and three, um, 
very important to have the, the, the sort of the string on the kind of inside of the tuner. So you, you don't want them all coming off at sort of random sides. Keep it neat. Then that way you'll know which way you're going to have to turn the tuning peg when you're, you're tuning. I guess also the as we covered before, the like you said, the, the sort of the angle's more correct if it's yes, absolutely. And even though this has got a, a break angle, mm -hmm. um, which is it is good for the back file, the the wraps around the tuning post will will pull that in as well. Sure. So if okay. we look at it from this angle, you can see. It's and they're pretty, more or less following the break angle of the headstock there. Yeah, okay. it's, pretty, it's pretty close. I mean, that one's slightly higher at the moment just because it doesn't have the wraps around That's it right, the moment, yeah. which we can see. But. And with the D, because you haven't got tuners ahead of it, yep. I'm going to swap hands. I'm going to have my right hand with the thumb and forefinger. Yep. And I'm going to pull back, sure. pull the string back a good uh, tuner and a half. Perfect. Okay. So again, very similar to what we did with the, yep. with the six in line, now, if, you, as if there's not enough space. And as it starts turning, you can see I can put the pressure on. Once perfect. it's gone round, you can just wind it up. Yeah, perfect. Going to take uh, going to take you guys some time to build up build up that kind of speed. But it's uh, it'll come. Nice. Okay, so onto the onto the G. Onto the G. And this is where it's best just to swap hands. Sure. So I'm going to pull the pull the string back a chain and string a half. Three, yep. And then with the string winder in my right hand, I'm going to let that just come round. Now, as it comes round, that's when I can do that with my left hand, put that sure, angle yeah. on it, and you just wind in that way. Fantastic. So yeah, that kind of thumb and forefinger technique is pretty, pretty crucial to sort of keep the tension on, keep the angle right. Yeah. Um, but you can find your own way of doing it. Yep. Whatever works, you know. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the B. On to the B. So home stretch, last two strings, almost there. So Push it through. Yep. And then you're sort of measuring the odd. Yep. Tuner and a half. Tuner and a half, bit for luck. Put the kink in it, nice. And then wind in with my right hand again with the string winder. Lovely. Just until it turns the corner there. Yeah. And I'm going to slowly put the tension on it now. Yeah. And there's that technique that we talked about. And then just wind, and it will go down the sure. tuning post. So I guess because you're you're doing it on the on the opposite side, you've got thumb and forefinger. I guess are yeah, obviously obviously going to be in slightly different position, but um, sure. Fantastic. Okay. But you know, nice and tight round the tuning post. Yeah. A good amount of wrap on at the uh, on at the saddle, and then and just flip it off. cut the string off. Fantastic. So last one, top E string. So as we said before, you can you can see it a bit more easily now though. Um, very important to have all of the strings going the correct way around the tuning pegs. It's really not good if if they're sort of some are on the outside, some are on the inside. Just if you see yourself going the wrong way, just immediately stop and just just start going back the other way, and, and all will be well as long as you don't wrap it all the way on there. Yeah, and with the high B and the E particularly, they tend to slip around a little bit. So you just be very, you know, careful in when you pull that. Sure. You know that tension on the string. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. But now it's wrapping round. I can speed up a little bit. Yep. And just finish up. Fantastic. Cut the string. And last little clip. And we're done. Brilliant. Looks very, very neat. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. We'll see you next time.